Hey everyone, welcome to Joe Vacanti Fishing, where we educate anglers on and off the water. Hey, if we haven't met, my name's Joe, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notification of future video releases. This week, we're going our tip, our tips and tricks. We're going to be going over some jig organization, which is like a real big pet peeve for me. And it took me a long time to figure out a half decent system, which I think I got it dialed in now. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, um, going over some uh, jig organization um, is a big, uh, big pet peeve of mine. Uh, like I said, and um, typically this is how a lot of our jigs get stored. Everything's thrown. We got black and blue. We got green pumpkin, brown. We have uh, green pumpkin, fire tiger looking kind of stuff. Black and blue. We got some hair, marabou hair jigs, uh, some red and black jigs, and we have some uh, like uh, molting crawl. And everything is all over, sticking out all over the place. Can't keep it straight. What size is what? And. Um, what do, what do we, this is hard to manage when we're on the water, especially in a tournament. So what I'd like to do is uh, show you a system that um, really it's so obvious and I missed it. Um, maybe not everybody out, th out there has, but this, uh, this individual has, but it, uh, it really helped me organize what I have by weight, by color, and make it easy to just grab what I want and get it tied on and get back to fishing. No fuss, no muss, right? So what I did is I took one of these Plano, uh, this is a Plano box in the 3700 series uh, for spinner baits and buzz baits. And it's very uh, unique how it's designed on the inside with uh, the racks where you can put all of your spinner baits and whatnot. So if we can organize our spinner baits with this thing and it keeps them all happy and organized and whatnot, why can't we do that with our jigs? Uh, with the slots that they have where you can put your spinner baits is where I put my jigs, right? And here's three that I have here. These are, um, green pumpkin with black in them. Um, these are the hand-tied uh, hand jigs with different uh, hook sizes and you know different weights. So this is uh, more of a swim, uh, swim style bait uh, jig. And if you see the slots in here, what we do is we just take them and slide that into that slot. And you can take and double up two of them that are exactly alike. So you know you have two right there. So if you if you need that quarter or this is uh, three eight or excuse me half ounce three eighths and quarter going down from top to bottom. So we got the three eighths or the half the three eighths and quarter uh, quarter ounce jigs, and I can organize all the different colors that I have. Right, and just place them right in there. Here's another one that's exactly like that. So we can put that right there and put him right there. All right, and keep them all organized. Now, when we go and I want to pull something out and get that on there and fish it, if I want to, you know, finesse fish, this is more like a, um, a finesse uh, jig style uh, with some orange, orange in it. Um, and it's a uh, green pumpkin and this is great for like small mouth and whatnot. I fish this a lot on like rock piles and uh, stuff like that. A lot of rocky areas and I can just grab that and go throw that on. If I break off, I just come in here and I can just pull number two out or pull, 
put anything I want. So it's a very easy way to organize all of your jigs. Um, it makes it easier. It clears up your head because you're not looking at a bunch of stuff, right? Like you do in this box. This box, I'm looking at just a big pile of, just a bunch of jigs. And it is, it clutters up your brain and it affects the way you think. And if you think clear, you're gonna fish clear, you're gonna do good, right? So if you can uh, clear up your head and also make things a little more efficient, a little less time spent when you're rigging and whatnot or trying to find something, you just put more casts in front of fish just by organization. So uh, good luck to you guys. Uh, give it a shot. I'll link up in the, the description uh, a link to these boxes so you can find it real quick and um, good luck with it and give it a try. I'll talk to you guys later, thank you. Uh, comment below and tell me what you're interested in, how this helped you, any tips and tricks that you have uh, that I may not know about and we can bring that to the rest of the viewers on your behalf. Um, so subscribe, like, and comment and don't forget sharing is caring. I'll talk to you guys later.